Now, Scott Morrison is warning that Anthony Albanese uh, could be taken advantage of when he visits China, that China could exploit it for propaganda purposes. Uh, Bridget, your coalition team is also demanding that Albanese make the release of detained Australian writer Yang Hyang Jun a top priority when he lands in Beijing this Saturday. Do you expect he is going to be strong and make demands of China? Well, this is absolutely going to be a test for the Prime Minister. Is he going to continue his Whitlam-esque parade around the world and just be caught with photo shoots in front of the Forbidden Palace commemorating Gough Whitlam's visit? Or is he actually going to have the tough conversations that need to be had with our, one of our great trading partners? And it isn't just about the release of Australian citizens. It is about uh, their place in the world and us being able to stand up for our own sovereign right. Let's not forget why it wasn't Australia that walked away from the relationship, it was China. And so the Prime Minister has a test before him as he heads into Beijing. And is he going to stand up for our way of life, for rule of law, for human rights uh, and for our trading uh, objectives? Or mm. is he actually going to bow before President Xi and pay homage. This is this is the big mm. test for PM. Mm. Michael Danby, I find it really interesting that Albanese has refused to visit Israel. Many other world leaders have in a show mm. of support and solidarity. He's refused to visit Israel, but he's visiting China at a time when this so-called axis of evil, this anti-Western alliance of China, North Korea, Russia and Iran is emerging. There have been strong visits between the four of them in recent weeks, giving strategic support. Uh, you know, it's just interesting that this visit of China comes at the time when those partnerships um, are, are becoming really concerning. Albo should understand we're on the hinge of history. We've got those countries all uniting together with a civilizational challenge to our all Western countries with the raping depravity of those uh, Hamasniks uh, invading southern Israel. Um, we've already bent the knee on the port of Darwin. We've already bent the knee on withdrawing our World Trade Organization complaints, which would have been successful. Um, I hope we don't see any more withdrawals. President Biden warned him, trust but verify. If we ask the Chinese to come into the Trans-Pacific Partnership and not ask the Taiwanese, that's an example of us uh, uh, bowing to the very extensive Beijing shills that uh, are in academia, in politics, have penetrated nearly every section of Australian society, including the business community. Mm. We're very lucky we've stood up to the extent that we have, but there's a real danger. I hope he holds up. Um, his comments and Wong's comments to date have been OK, but uh, this is the real test. This is where the rubber hits mm. the road.